Hello YouTube, this is Gunporn68. Time for a little show and tell. This is the gun collection, but actually to tell you the truth, it's not all mine. Uh, Wahine Shooter is actually my girlfriend. Two of these are hers. Uh, she just got into shooting. And she asked me what she should get for her first few guns, and I said, well, first of all, you should get a Ruger 1022. Because they're awesome. I love this thing. Really love this gun. So accurate. So accurate. It's got God knows how many rounds through it now. But I broke it in with uh, Remington Golden Boy, if you can believe that. Everybody's complaining about that, how they jam and everything. It works fine on my gun. I think it might be because I broke in the barrel with those things. Uh, I say my gun. It's not mine. It's Wahine's. Uh, yeah. Pretty standard uh, synthetic stock. Does have the extended, uh, extended uh, magazine release there. I think they're calling this the uh, tactical version of the 1022, if there is such a thing. Uh, anyway, that's Wahine's. Her other gun, another classic uh, Mossberg 500, standard. That came with two barrels. It's, two barrels. It's got the uh, 18 and a half inch barrel and the 28 inch barrel, which I'm starting to love. We got into shooting skeet, and it's well, we're actually shooting skeet now. It's pretty much cheating with a barrel that short. <laughs> Nice way to get people started in it, but if you want to get serious about it, you need a big barrel. You do. It's just a modified choke on that. And bead sights in both cases. And this one, here's the funny part. Guy named Gunporn68, and that's the only gun I have. It's another Mossberg 500. This is the Persuader model. It's got uh, seven round capacity in the magazine. One in the tube. This is pretty much the same gun as the 590, but for a bit less money. Uh, 590 is a lot more sturdy, I think. It's got the bayonet plug on it and everything, the heat shield and all that wicked stuff. But personally, uh, I'll take one less round if it's going to be this light. It's lighter than the 590. And this is the newest edition. I just got Ghost Ring Sights on that. Thank you, Wahine Shooter, because that was my Christmas present. She did okay too. She got a nice bow from me. She loves it. So, everything worked out this Christmas. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you about the Mossbergs is something I figured out recently. I've been wondering what to do about getting a side saddle on my Mossberg. And I heard things about, you know, the shells rattling out of the plastic ones. Uh, aluminum ones are expensive. Then I heard about elastic ones. Elastic? I've never even seen that. So I looked it up on the internet. It's like $70 for the setup. I'm like, that's stupid. What if you just take some of that Velcro tape that's sticky on the back and chop up your good old trusty Cabela's shot shell belt? And there you go. I think I can get like uh, three of these. That's a six round. Get about three of these out of one of those belts. I got mine on sale for five dollars, so it was, you know, do the math. Cheap. These things wear out anyway, but if you can get them that cheap, why not? Yeah, works wonderfully. Works wonderfully. I love it. And I got spares when this wears out, and if I have to buy another ten dollar belt, I think they're up to ten dollars now. Not a problem. So yeah, just a uh, little tip there. And if you're looking at side saddles. You might think about doing this first and see how you like it. It's very cheap. So, I won't blab your ears off. That'll be uh, all for this. Yeah. Maybe I'll show the whips next.